Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the round number two. And here we are improving my coding up appropriately. <laughs> we are better and better every single day and every single night. And our method is secret, but only me and you now will know. You split it in rounds. We are doing the second one. We do five minutes, but five minutes. That's the key. Five minutes of typing exercise. And then we try to make a comment message for 35. What an adventure. So let's get into it. I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. Uh, I feel the energy is draining out. Okay. Uh, let's start the timer and improve our typing. Let's go. Are you at the tent? Watching me typing? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Where's the T? Where's the T? Will he find it? T. Oh, he did find it. Drama. Action. Impermanence. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That was two spaces. We need only one. Oh, fuck. And there, we need no, no spaces. No spaces. You are putting them like they are for free. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you would be... Today, I had my first ever discussion on tabs versus spaces. <laughs> it was kind of fun, actually. Who won? Uh, well. I think if you are entering a discussion with uh, the intent of of uh, to win, you are in for a bad treat. But uh, if you are in to for the idea win, or you know, like to find out which one is better, I personally think you are you are in a good shape. Well, when I entered the discussion, I was leaning towards spaces. But when I left the discussion, I'm leaning towards tabs. Oh, really? What was the arguments that kind of like uh, changed it for you? I mean, it was also like for me, uh, like I'm programming languages where tabulators have no meanings at all. Or at all. Uh, but I didn't know that, for example, in Python they do. I'm a spaces guy, but someone came with very compelling arguments for tabs. What what was the arguments? I wanna know. Oh, that was bad, right? Probably. That up with is configurable with two, two spaces by somebody. Yeah, that was one of the which I also really liked. That argument I like. Uh, six, 30, and I'm twice as better in the last round. Yeah, that one I liked also. And what I did not know. It in 
For example, in Python, uh, they have semantic uh, value. Well, yes, but then you have to keep the same amount of sp of spaces, and yeah, and you have to be consistent. But let's say that you have a multiple files, you know. And if you run the scripts like and one of the files are written in like two spaces and in the second file there could be like four spaces for for the indenting, right? Then you can have it could lead in some problems. I have been told. Yeah. So uh that's the that's the thing you know so I, I then like I guess like the people which are coding in in a Python they are like definitely like team spaces you know I mean team tabs and I was like ah you know like make make no difference to me I code in Java you know if 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 that is like I don't care I just want to press key and there might be like a peer four spaces i don't care you know but then he he told me like this and i was like hmm, well actually it's good yeah it sounds bad but the thing is like there's no standard right so if the language allows you to do that you know then let's say that you have a you have the different like spacing right and then you copy and paste the the code from somewhere to somewhere else you know and then you have to like reformat it and because because the now the indentation has the syntactical meaning it's not just you, you can run it you know like easier because it looks the same everywhere well yeah but you just said uh, that's the that's the benefit right that's the benefit it doesn't look uh, everywhere the same so which one is it which one is it Cody Co? <laughs> uh, but yeah also like this shows like this goes actually deeper you know like it is this recognition like kind of shows that you know there's there's not always like benefits with every single decision there is like two sides you know it has some uh some you know like benefits in some way and some negative effects in another way it's never like i choose this and it's only win 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 you know there's just some effects which have like other effects, you know, and some of them we are considering like good and some of them we are considering bad, you know, and even that good and bad also depends on the context, right, which is good in some something, it would be bad in another one, right, so it's never like, oh, we'll choose this and it will be good, uh, no, no, no. So, so yeah, there are benefits and, uh, and the shortcomings and it depends on a, on a use case, you know, and also like, because, you know, like my use case so far was like, I don't care. I do Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, well, spices, spaces or that doesn't, doesn't really matter, you know, but like evidently like people in python you know they have like totally different 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 viewpoint so it always depends it always depends and that's the fucking answer to everything now i just want to know how to do it right what does it right mean i don't know i just want to be good <laughs> What does it good mean? Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's the story. Okay, so let's start the timer. And oh boy. I'm sorry, that's just too much. I'll do the 12.
Tell one of your why is the right way with enough confidence. And they never give up. Well, you know, like the only. <laughs> I have heard this from Frederick Christensen. He's a developer, and he says, like, all this talk, you know, like the TDD all the way, you know, like the clean code all the way. The only time when you can hear it said with total confidence and no opposition whatsoever is when someone is peeking on top of the podium <laughs> but in real life <laughs> outside of the podium nah <laughs> yeah Oh, that's power mode. Oh, I should disable it, right? Yes, I should disable it. It's like, if when I have, I will not do anything. And that was way more than five minutes of power mode. Anyway, uh, I'm fixing those, those things, right? What about this? Yeah, we fixed that. What about this? UL is not allowed. Why not? What do you mean it's not allowed here? I just did it. I just did it. Oh, fuck that. Oh, it will look good even without it. Okay. Why is it like, hold on. Why, why is it not allowed there? Huh? That background kind of like... I don't want to say like something bad about it. It's really psychedelic. Yeah, let's say it as such. Okay, so we will maybe finally commit I don't want oh come on come on not front end setup uh, uh, god damn it there we go commit Oh, still. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Nothing else. Okay, so now we'll commit, maybe. I have all these files in there, right? Yes, commit. Again? Unknown key. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, so... Committing. Why do I commit those? Editor config that should not be in the repository at all. That 
That is some... Idea, project, settings. Select some style, editor configuration, editor config ORG. Okay. Uh, let's see it. Consistent coding spots for multiple developers. Okay, I like it. Then style tab. Okay, that's what you want. There's a mouse, so that means it, it's good. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, we will allow it. Uh, the comet finally maybe what the hell uh, front and commit what oh what is this just commit comment Commit failed with error. Follow the commits front. Why? Can't commit changes from multiple change lists at once. <sighs> okay. So you probably know what will happen now, huh? Weep. Satisfied now? Satisfied now? Commit. Okay, review. There's a test. Consider using for each instead of map as it return value is not being used here. Um, yeah, but. I don't feel confident like messing this with this this thing over here. So we'll just commit it and hope for the best. You're the best. Around. Commit. Commit. Uh, commit. Commit. Committing. Committing. <laughs> Two viewers only. What? There's another. Power mode? You love power mode, don't you? Oh, you love po one one issue? It was two issues. Well, come in anyway. I don't care anymore. Okay, so we do power mode then, huh? Uh, power. Toggle power mode. Okay, so now we have the master Java and onto this. Well, I'm not sure if Master Java and welcome back. Uh, so I have the back end is written in Java. I do all the CRUD operation, all the CRUD operations on the back end. And now I've written a simple front end in Angular. Angular. Oh, I forgot about the timer. Bam. For the flames. For the flames, five minutes of flames. And now I did this, yes. I have a little tiny thing over there going on. But uh right now, yes, but it will be more. It will be more. So much more. It will be so powerful. So powerful. So this is the 
No, it was horrible. <laughs> no, it was okay. It was okay. But I, I was really happy, you know, that I was able to do it, actually. Uh, yeah, so we have that. So I finished one of my goals. One. And that was to freaking put the changes into some kind of branch. So that is on the front end setup, right? Then we have. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Uh, delete. Oh no, this has been merged already. Right? 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 I don't know. We will update. Uh, merge. Can't update. Front end setup has. Not... Oh yeah, because. I don't want to update that. What I really want is go to main. Yes. Oh, I probably want to. I want to push it to. Oh, yeah. I'll push this just so we have it uh, in the remote repository. Pushed. Okay. Cool. Now. We go to main. Um, we do smart checkout. Yeah, and that will be all written. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So we will control that remote. Bam. So this is how it looks now. Our readme. And we have. What do you mean? Can update. Front end setup has no. Oh, that. Old message. Old message. Never trust all message, messages. And now on our back end side of things. Where the fuck is all my fi files? Which branch am I on? Oh, I'm on main, of course. What do you mean something good in my ID? What do you mean? There are flames. Do I have a flames here too? No, I don't. It's broken. It's broken. So I'll open this, for example. So we will have, oh, that's even the old thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like fucking merge it, merge it. Did you fix the? Probably he probably did not fix this because right now in our CI pipeline it's actually trying to build and run the application as it is, uh, but it should, as you already know, it should uh, run the tests. It doesn't run the tests. It's trying to access the database. Oh, yes, you heard. Yes, you heard. It's trying to access. You know, the life will find the way every single time. And it tries to live, but it will be squished. It will be... Whatever, okay. So, maybe it can blow you. Well, that's good. No one blowed me for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess your life is a little bit better. <laughs> you are sweating. What thing are you thinking of? That was a tad vulgar. Uh, that was vulgar from me or that was vulgar from you? I don't know. Are you accusing me of being vulgar? Do do you demand do you demand apology? Or you are apologizing? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> English is my third language. Have a mercy. Uh, 
I am 12. What is this? Uh, this is the real life, Cody Crow. This is the real life. It's all here in the screen. I have no total 12. That is against TOS. Just saying. Uh, not, uh, what? What? Okay. Uh, what is TOS? What TOS stands for? Terms of service. Minimum age of is 13. Oh, yes. In that case, I am 13 too. Hello. Uh, what am I doing? Yes, I want to write some tests and I will write them on my backend branch uh, because it still haven't been merged. Yeah, so we will have a look into my backend. What the fuck? Which branch am I on? Storing ingredient. Hold on. I'm worried a little bit. So this is pom 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 pull requests. Uh, storing ingredients in DB. Uh, files changed. Uh, yeah, what the fuck is that, huh? Storing ingredients into DB. Storing ingredients into DB. What the hell just happened here, huh? What the fuck happened? I can okay, always update, right? All files up to the I sure. What the fuck? Oh, food chopper, and here's food chopper, and here's main. Where are my files? Where are all of my files? What the fuck is this? Do I have to reload or something? This is not happy face. Uh, what the hell just happened? Chopper, food chopper, source, main, java, com, food chopper, food chopper, here we have ingredients, and here is so much things, so where, where is it in IntelliJ, explain yourself, oh, here it is, okay, never mind, uh, why is it red? Java file outside of source root. Not in current project. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, what we did was we kind of wanted, because previously this was the root of the project and we 
want this kind of move it you know so we would have like full chopper and then full chopper front end in the same repository and he doesn't like it ah. sci-fi well i mean like let's say there's the project and here is the project inside of that project right so if i delete this i will pretend it's not here i can still go back right so delete it will be deleted you will not be able to follow undo i have a git on my side you fool ha 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 delete um okay did not help <laughs> uh, i don't know i will try uh restart invalidate uh trying to nest those okay uh, i think i have that I have that problem now. Invalidate and restart. Yes. So we'll trash it and we'll we'll see if that if something of that works. Um, and here's the thing, right? I and here's what I'm trying to solve, and that is I have a backend which is Java and Spring, and then I have a front end which is Java TypeScript and Angular and i want to have them in the same uh, i want to have, have them in the same repository because it is better for for the end-to-end -end test which will run into our ci uh, so that's i want to have them together in one uh, i'm not so sure about the right structure you know so, so we decided that it will be, you know, like food chopper and the hero. Oh, it was blue for a second for that. Yeah. So, uh, I doesn't like it. You can declare multiple modules. You mean modules? like in the sense of a javascript or you mean it in sense of java 9 or you mean in a sense of what because modules can mean like multiple things you know like it says in sense of the ide Okay, I multiple modules in the region. Okay, I don't know anything about it, so I... So, I do project, go and then select new module. Okay, so we'll try that. So, we'll go here, right click, right click! Uh, Okay, well, we have a git, so I can fuck around and then 
put everything to trash and I I can delete everything and then pull it again so it's okay uh, we'll play we'll play and um, yeah um, factor where's the modules remove module where's add module build module open module settings What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, here we go. So here, and we have sources test. Super mark as this will be sources, I guess. And now it doesn't like it. Okay, cool. We are resources here, huh? Where are resources? There was a resources. I don't see resources. Where the fuck did the resources go? Here. It's finicky, yeah. Evidently. So I should have one module here and one module here in this project, like for the front end, for the back end. Why do I have external libraries in here, huh? What is this? If I open it, nothing. Uh, yeah, I need to, okay. Why do I want to do it? Like they saying, oh, module, well, what is it? That's your declared external dependencies for the entire project. Okay, thank you. That was that was this right external libraries. Uh, um, multiple modules. You can add new modules group. Uh, and all the modules you don't need at the moment. Generally, modules consist one of one or several content routes and module file. However, modules can exist without content routes. A content route is a folder where you store your code. Usually it contains subfolders for your source code, unit test, resources, files, and so on. A module file, the IML file is used for keeping module configuration. Modules allow you to combine several technologies and frameworks in one application. In IntelliJ IDEA, you can create several modules for a project and each of them can be responsible for its own framework. For more information, refer to add Raymarks assets. Okay, Tsh, click. Well, you are referring to what? Okay. Okay. Add framework facets. Spring, whatever. It's broken. How do I fix it? It's broken. How do I fix it? Okay, this is the Java modules. I don't know the Java modules. Overhead the modules. With the introduction of the new Java platform module system, there are two systems of modular data IntelliJ. Module and the new Java 9. Okay, cool. For more information, Java 9 support, refer to blah blah blah, okay, projects with multiple modules. 
I read this already. That consists of client side and server side is a good example of two module project. Nice. Java modules are a whole different animal. Don't mess with those unless you have some time to spend. Yeah, I don't have the use for the Java 9 modules right now. I mean, I really like how they are using it to uh, decrease the payload for the application. Because before that, if you if you include the Java in your like jar, you are up to like 200 megabytes, just the minimum, right? <laughs> like no matter if even Hello World will be like to more than 200 uh, megabytes. But now, well, I didn't try it, but I have been told, well, I didn't have been told. I read in the documentation or somewhere, maybe it was Oracle site or some something like that, that it will be like maybe two megabytes, like, you know, the, the the java import stuff you know so that's better right i i'm immediately fan i never used it so it might be pain in ass to set up so i don't know i don't know i just read it somewhere and i'm expert because i read a heading of an article you can trust me i'm a professional <sighs> <sighs> oh god damn it project tool window oh, top level directory in the project tool window and select new module okay whatever 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 a new module here we go. Oh, oh, oh. What, what if, what if it is there already? Like, okay, I say new module, but I want to set it up in here. And it was, well, I deleted, God damn it. Okay, so cancel, go back, go back. Now uh, I will go. Uh, I will revert. Fabulous. Okay. Well, the problem is <laughs> it is not tracked by Git. <laughs> what I deleted. <laughs> it is not tracked by Git. Okay. Never mind. So we do new module and i felt so safe <laughs> i felt so safe uh... well I'll, let's check let's have a reality check right so i think like the source of the module for one thing should be here that would be the back end and this one will be like the the module for the front end which is the typescript uh, and so on am i right am i right am i right i just don't know how to do it uh so we do new module so it's fine okay thank you sir or madam or i don't know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i mean like i don't mean anything i'm tired uh yeah i don't it is a spring thing what if i say maven it is a maven afterwards uh, after all help cancel here and uh, here's the pom file you see you see do you see it i do i do see it i do see it very much okay uh what are you doing uh, new module here we go project template no maven yes 
now I will fuck up everything. Uh, next. What the fuck are you mean? Food chopper? I will choose. I choose. Watch. You have a more, way more choice than it gives me. Oh well, yeah. Because directory is not empty. Yes, it is not empty. The module food chopper does exist. What the fuck? Parent, none. Parent. Oh, this is a food chopper. Okay, so this will be food chopper backend. I will rename it to food chopper backend. All right, all right, all right. Let's us see the explosion. I will try to rename food chopper backend. Refactor now. Cannot rename, why not? What the fuck? Well, anyway, this concludes the round number two. Yes, two. So, stop that.